girl. Come on, come to mama. Let's not leave. Let's just come on over here. Come on. You can do it, girls. And here we are catching a swarm without any kind of protection. This is so cool. It's like being caught in a snowstorm, except it's all bees. It's cool. It's like you're in a snow globe, except it's a bee globe. Who says hive beetle, you knocked it down. It's pretty sweet. The hive beetle went with the swarm because there's a hive beetle already landing on the frame. Now what are you coming to my hand for? They're, they're coming to me, not the frame. Look at this. <laughs> Why are you coming to me? Okay, mine is giving me. This right. is the only bad thing when you have a disability. Beekeeping with a disability. Yes, it can be done with a little work. We'll talk about that in a future video. It's going to be a real small swarm. Okay. But it's still a swarm. We're still keeping our bees at home if there are bees. If not, we've attracted them with our hives. And the fact that we have bees here in our yard. And right there's your queen. She, oh, she just flew back off. She's a tiger strike. Let me switch hands and maybe I can hold it again. Because it's cool. Just trying to make sure I don't. There's one. There's one, one or two bees. Something else I've noticed. The bees do not follow the queen. It's a myth. Everybody thinks that the queen lights and the bees form form around her. They will show up at the location and the queen will come to them. I've noticed that in every one of these there's that small hive beetle. It's still lighting on my hand. That's alright. Maybe they'll crawl in front of the lens and you can actually see a bee up close and personal. But usually Is that a hive beetle on me? No, that's a the sweat bee. But anyway, back to what I said, they'll doing it this way, catching them in the, if they're in the air, there she is right there. See her? She is right there. Wow. Don't knock her off. I'm not. She's right there on the frame. Wonder why they're hanging onto each other instead of. Oh, one just. Stung me on the back of the leg. I doubt it. Right where my pants leg hits. Nope. Where something did. Something bit me. There's no... There's no, uh... Stinger. But anyway, what I'm saying is... Catching them this way, I've noticed that you'll have about... 200, 300 bees hit the frame if it's a big swarm. And then the queen will show up. Why is this one getting ready to sting me? It's not. It's cleaning its back legs. You don't know when it's going to sting you. Yeah, 
They're festooning for some crazy reason. They're festooning for some crazy reason. Hanging on to each other. So what I'm gonna yeah, do is no, go that's get that's why it don't make sense is why they're hanging on to the frame for a minute, please. Well, anyway. And I was gonna go get a two frame mating nuke and put a minute. I'd start feeding the crap out of them, but can't now. Maybe they'll stay at home. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna end this video. If you'll just hold it while I go get it. Something is biting in the back of my leg.